Hello YouTube, I'm Toby. Ah, uh, finally, the cold times have come and Christmas is right around the corner. Now, this is not only the times of gifts and family, but also that of cold fingers. There's got to be something we can do about that. As we all know, CPUs have a tendency to get hot when current flows through them, and some of the old ones are not really worth keeping around. So let us use one uh, old CPU to make a, a hand warmer. I personally had an old AMD Turion CPU laying around and nowhere to really use it, so it'll be an absolutely perfect uh, match for this project. I first needed to figure out uh, which pins were connected, since I do not own a uh, voltmeter, uh, for some reason I had to improvise my own. I used a cheap flashlight um, for this. Whenever the wires are connected, the light will turn on. It's actually really simple. Running the wires up and down the pins of the CPU revealed some, uh, some pins that were connected. I noticed that some had brighter light than others and this will be important for later. When I was finally happy with my choice of pins, I soldered on the uh, wires. Now I don't solder that often and it really shows here. After the solder I used some hot glue to keep the wires in place. I also cut a small piece of foam and uh, put it on the back of the assembly to avoid unintentional short circuits. Adding a battery to the wires from the uh, CPU was no issue, so tape did the job very well. Now comes the part where the brightness of the uh, light is important. I chose to solder my wires to the pins that gave the, light, uh, the brightest light, and this pretty much resulted in a dead short, and uh, the battery started to heat up. To solve this issue, I went back to scratch and found two new pins. Uh, this time I chose the ones that gave the least light, which is the connecting uh, connection with the highest resistance, obviously. I tried to measure the temperature, but the reflective surface of the uh, CPU made this very difficult. The highest measurement I got was 32 degrees Celsius on a single 1.5 volt AA battery. From what I know, most CPUs run between 1 and 1.2 volts, so I was reluctant to add another battery since I was afraid it would destroy the CPU. However, I decided to go ahead and try it anyway. Now, pumping 3 volts through the system made it very hot. After about 2 minutes, I could not keep it in my hands anymore and I switched it off. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you learned something. Stay warm this December and thank you very much for watching.